Let's review the steps to add an item with colors, sizes, and manufacturer's UPCs. From Back Office, go to Inventory, then Add Item. First, type the product number you would like to use. You will notice that if the number you type has already been used, the information for that product will come to the screen. Remember, each product number must be unique, so a number cannot be used more than once. Press Reset to clear the screen and start over. I will type the product number and add part of the vendor's name to the end of the number. However, you may choose any method you like for naming your products. You will notice that there is also a field for vendor's product code. Here you can type the actual product number if you had to use a modified number as just described. This number is not unique, so you can have multiple products with the same vendor product code. If a vendor's product code is entered, that will be the number that will print on your purchase order, so your vendor will see the correct number. Next, choose your vendor from the drop-down. The names listed here are vendor IDs and not necessarily the full name of the vendor. Click the Vendor button if you would like to see the vendor's full name, address, telephone number, etc. Click Bye Bye to go back to the Add Item screen. Then, type a description for your product. You can choose a color by either selecting from the drop-down or typing the color code. If the color code already exists, then the color description will appear grayed out. If the color code does not exist, you will be able to type a longer description for your color. Enter a cost and retail price for your item. You may also choose to enter MSRP and wholesale prices, but it is not necessary if your business does not use them. Choose a tax rule. Then categorize your product by selecting a group, subgroup, and sub-subgroup. Choose a size scale for your product. If you like, you can also choose a will, which stands for width, inseam, length. In this case, our pants come in three lengths, short, regular, and long. Click Prepare Items, and you will see a list of your individual items before they are created. Click Create, and VRP will generate a primary UPC for each item in the list. If you know your manufacturer's UPC numbers, click Assortments to enter them. Find the correct size, then type or scan the UPC number in the UPC Child column. If you are creating a new item and would like to enter the UPCs, but you do not have them in front of you, then you can always create the product now and add them as assortments at a later time. We will go over that in another lesson. This is the preferred method for entering UPCs. You can opt to use the manufacturer's UPC as the primary UPC. At the Prepare Items stage, before you click Create, type the UPC of each size in the corresponding field. Once you have entered the UPC of each size, click Create to save your product. If you would like to enter another color for the same product, go up to the color field and type another color code. Modify the color description if you wish, then click Prepare and enter your UPCs, or just click Create. If you would like to add another product, click Reset to clear the screen. If you are finished with this task, click Bye Bye.